Two notes. Two notes is all you need to save the world. This past summer, I was lucky enough to watch a documentary called Echoes in the Canyon. It's a documentary film that was made by Jacob Dylan, Bob Dylan's son, about a neighborhood northwest of the Hollywood Hills in Los Angeles, California. The neighborhood is called Laurel Canyon. In the 1960s, a highly energetic, charismatic, and creative group of musicians lived in Laurel Canyon. You'll know some of these names when I say them. The, Be the Beach Boys, the Mamas and the Papas, and Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. During the course of the film, Jacob Dylan asks Graham Nash what the purpose of music has been for him in his life. Nash says, I still believe that music can save the world. When he said this, I laughed out loud. I grew up in the 1960s and 70s. My parents were left-wing, liberal, raging hippies. They were part of all the movements, the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement, the feminist movement, the granola movement. <laughs> they fought every day to change the world, but it didn't work. And that is why when Graham Nash said, I still believe that music can save the world, I laughed. Two notes, two notes to make you laugh. I laughed for two reasons. The first reason was because what Graham Nash was saying felt empty to me. And the second reason I laughed is because I felt sad. Right now, we live in a time where plastic fills the ocean. The impeachment hearings are driving everybody crazy. You hit Google, you hit Yahoo, and all these stories come up of terrible things that people are doing to one another. There are school shootings, and I felt sad. Graham Nash's sentiment that music could save the world felt, although good in intent, empty in reality. But I'm an optimist, and so I began to think about how to move forward to do, in fact, the thing that we need to do, which is save the world, more for our children than for us. And it occurred to me that the most powerful and important thing that we can do is to be present. Two notes, two notes to make you be present. <laughs> The first two notes are from a song called Black Magic Woman by Santana. The same two notes played differently are from Tommy Guerrero. He is a skateboarder and guitar player from San Francisco and his song is called Battles of the Forgotten. I heard Black Magic Woman in June of 2019, and I heard Battles of the Forgotten at the end of the summer. In between, I was listening to music like I was eating dinner and drinking water. I was listening to music like I had never listened to music before. I was listening to Kamasi Washington and the Doobie Brothers and Van Morrison and Creeper Lagoon and Stan Getz, and Dave Brubeck, and Post Malone, and Drake. And all of it made me feel incredibly 
present and grounded. I have no idea why. It was like some doorway in my DNA was kicked wide open and I was extraordinarily present in every moment whenever music was on, even when music wasn't playing. I'd go into Wegmans, Leo Sayers, You Make Me Feel Like Dancing came over the uh, speakers and I was one in the produce aisle. It was <laughs> unbelievable. And to this day, I have no idea why, but it made me feel and think about what Graham Nash had been saying, that music could help us save the world. Two notes, two notes for memory and gathering. Talking about expectations, expectations, watch. Ba, ba. about that is regardless of where I am anywhere every audience gets that but it doesn't matter you know that's just you know the pentatonic scale for some reason there are so many amazing things about what you just saw I think at the top of the list of amazing things is how it makes you feel and how it makes you feel, or how it makes me feel, is joy. It's just joy. And I think what's happening here is twofold. First of all, you have Bobby McFerrin, the great jazz vocalist, accessing his instrument, which is his body. And the second thing is that he gets the audience to access their instrument, their body, your body. And so when I was listening to all this music over the course of the summer and my DNA memory music thing got kicked open, it occurred to me that maybe what Graham Nash was talking about was not let's all sit around the campfire and sing We Shall Overcome. I think what he was saying was 
let's access the biological and neurological thing in us that is musical so we can live these musical lives. And that will bring us together. That's the second or the third thing that happens in this video. You get a group of people who aren't musicians, who know exactly what note to sing when he bounces from one spot on the stage to the next. It's like you were born with it. It's in you, you know it. And somehow, if we can access that together, then perhaps music can save the world. But in order to do that, we have to do one pretty crazy thing. And that is we have to dissolve thinking. Two notes, two notes to dissolve thought. At the very end of the summer, I came back to school and I was talking with a colleague of mine, Kader Ajut, and he said, you should check this book out. And the book that he uh, said or suggested that I read is a book called Ethics in the Real World. It's by a uh, 21st century philosopher named Peter Singer. The book is a compilation of 82 or 83 essays about morality and ethics. There are essays about happiness, there are essays about love, euthanasia, and I was sitting down and I was reading this book and it was really cool. My mind was getting fired up, but there was this nagging thing in the back of my head. And the nagging thing was the phrase, so what? Who cares about love and politics and morality and ethics when the world outside is in such disarray? Who cares? And I wondered, what if we were able to push all of these things aside, politics, religion, morality, and love? Would this get us to a place where perhaps we were closer to making a better world for us and our children than before? And the answer in my mind was yes, hell yes. And if we were able to do that, we would be left with, I believe, one thing. And that one thing, because it's in our bodies, it's in our DNA, is music. <laughs>